colors are foggy. Hello, it is Saturday, Labor Day weekend, and I'm going to drop my car off for maintenance. Um, there was something that they wanted to do last time I was there that I couldn't afford to do, and so I'm having it done now. And then um, I'm going to have them balance the tires. It is 10 till 7 on a Saturday morning. I need to drop by and get gas, but I also want to be on time, so I'm going to forgo that. I have a quarter of a tank. It's all good. the car off so I can be at home. I have a nail appointment. I have things I want to do. I've had to have my breakfast at home. Um, and I've got to work out something. I'm, I'm not sleeping well. I am not sleeping well. Part of it is me scrolling on my phone for a long time. And the other part of it is I, even after that, I wake up and turn over and all the stuff that I wasn't doing before. Before what? I don't know. Before, before. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I still have not heard from the sleep study place. I contacted my normal doctor and said I still haven't heard from them and they're like they say it looks like it's in progress um, or in process or, or whatever the word was and that, uh, they gave me the number to look for uh, if they went for when they call me so I have the number saved under sleep study or something you know under that number and that, that was two weeks ago I still haven't heard anything so I don't know <clears throat> but I do believe that they are probably very backed up because I think most people seem to have some sort of sleep apnea uh, hello I am it's it's muggy outside it's cloudy. It's not a nice, cool, refreshing um, atmosphere. But I've been wanting to go on this trail for uh, two weeks, a week, a week and a half. About a week and a half. I've been wanting to go out and explore more because I haven't gotten to explore all summer. So today is an exploring day. on a trail like this in since last summer I guess it's been a year when I went to um uh, that campsite area I think it was last September and I was jealous of people who spent the night there because it was so such a refreshing morning to wake up to outdoors and uh, I'm gonna forego the cabin idea because I had to 
which I figured I had to spend quite a bit on the car maintenance. It's, it is muggy. Um, it did sprinkle earlier as I'm on my way here, but I figured it wasn't going to last. And, uh, I just really wanted to do this. I haven't even been on a walk in the trails in town, so, uh, well, I think since my leave of absence ended, so it's good to do something. to read the map that they have at the beginning of the trail, but I don't know, all these different trails are interwinding and it was a little confusing for me, so, but I, I chose one that was called Stagecoach Loop, thinking it's a loop around, but I don't know a loop around what, so when I reach, like, 20, 30 minutes, I'm gonna, if I'm not anywhere near a clearing or whatever, I'm gonna turn around. It's raining. Okay, hello, it's Labor Day. Um, I had planned on going to the store and getting a few more things and stuff like that, but I ultimately decided to just stay home and rest. My body this morning didn't want to do a whole lot, and so I listened. Yeah, I've been doing my work on my weight loss counseling, I'm still staying within calories. So that, that's working out. I'm finding it easier to do, um, which is this, a step in the right direction. I'm also, through my therapy, working on seeing myself and others differently. I uh, was bullied quite a bit as a kid and through middle school and a little bit into high school. I think people, I wasn't popular, I was awkward, I wasn't super articulate and, you know, quiet. And so I was an easy target that way. And I think through all of that, my brain took in those messages that I'm not good enough. And that has subconsciously been with me for all these years. And um, I'm finally seeing that and working through that and recognizing that I'm not on the playground anymore, you know? I'm not in school anymore, and I have proven that I am good enough at several things. And um, I think, you know, when I was doing theater, you know, I would get notes sometimes about holding back too much and, uh, and not taking up the space and all that. and. It's because I have been conditioned, you know, to avoid being noticed um, and to be low-key about things I do and, and, 
be small and um, you know not put myself out there for anyone to say anything to me about it and um, so it's had a and, and then the same thing at work really as well and so <clears throat> and it doesn't help that uh, there are bullies in the adult world as well um, and I've encountered those um, and so none of that has helped but I've also got to look at it like you know I've persevered through a lot and you know I came from a, a working class family um, but went to college when you know my parents didn't so, um, I was the first one in my immediate family to go to college. My sister was the second person. Um, and then um, it took me a while to, I think because of the lack of putting myself out there and whatever I'm not I can't really put a finger on it exactly but I didn't excel I, I did well enough in my work and it took me a while to find something that I could do that would pay decent you know I was always more of a of a creative persuasion um, and I went into the business world, which is not creative. Um, they try to be, but they're, you don't get to use much creativity. Although I have incorporated creativity into the jobs I've had. Um, which is why I like to do YouTube. It's a creative outlet. And I don't have to go to rehearsals and do theater in the evenings or try to paint when I'm not really very good at it and all of that. I want to do something I'm good at and uh, so I'm, I'm still trying to find that. Um, but I think that something artistic rather that I'm good at, I should clarify. But I want to say, you know, it is September, it's Labor Day and I love this time of year and I especially love it now because it is, uh, I'm approaching my two year anniversary of living in Arkansas and having this new job that I think even though I have my internal struggles, I feel like it suits me better, at least for the time being than any other job I've ever had. Um, and I prefer it miles over being um, in hu a human resources manager or generalist. Um, it's, you know, I'm not saying I'll never want to do anything else, you know, but I'm saying that this is the best job I've ever had so far. And I love, 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 love and appreciate that I am here. Well, anyway, I will just say that if you have similar negative thoughts about yourself, struggles, um, that you're not enough or not good enough or something along those lines, just know that your brain is handing you a thought that isn't true. It's just telling you something that it's been telling you for years because maybe somebody else said that to you in one way or another, but they were wrong. And, you know, in my case, <laughs> it was they were just kids like I was. They, you know, and if it was an adult telling you that, well, shame on them and they were wrong, okay? Um, you can, whatever it is, and um, 
turn those thoughts around because you are enough. You are good enough. You can. And uh, just look for evidence that you can because when I actually think about how I've moved up in the company over the last 16 years from a packer to uh, a recruiter to benefits to human resources manager to corporate I mean it was a lot of hours a lot of hard work a lot of blood sweat and tears and I did it and I am good enough and so are you thanks for watching Thank you.